John. Hi, Pat. Uh, we're going to have to wait a few weeks to hear any of the specifics on that. If those revenue projections hold up into next year, state government will be in the enviable position of having a big budget surplus for the second year in a row. Governor Mills told us that's a sign Maine's economy remains healthy. We sat down with the governor to talk about those issues at the Blaine House this afternoon, and no surprise, she made that point among others. Now, last year, the governor and legislature were able to allocate more than $900 million in a revenue surplus, and that's uh, went into the budget that's in place right now. Uh, this $822 million projected revenue surplus is what they'll decide in the coming weeks and months. Uh, their qu big question will be whether to use it for new programs and services, whether to give it back to taxpayers. The governor and a number of legislators saying they'd like to do both. I think the taxpayers deserve to see part of that money come back into their pockets. I think we've done a good job with the economy. We've got a lot to talk about right now. Um, look, the GDP for the state of Maine is up, gross domestic product. Unemployment claims are lower than they were before the pandemic. At the same time, I know that the price of the pump has gone up, is leveling a little bit today, but who knows where it's going. The price of gas and oil is outrageously high. The price of groceries has gone up. Electric rates are going up. So that is one reason why I think that people who are working and pu pumping money into the economy deserve a break of some sort. They deserve to get some of this money back. Have you been looking at any particular share of that uh, $822 million? I mean, do you want to give half of it back, tenth of it? I can't get that specific, uh, Don. And with all due respect, I also am very, you know that I served on the Appropriations Committee a dozen years ago during the last recession. I'm keenly aware that things can change and that this pandemic is very unpredictable. So we want to be very cautious about what we do with the projected surplus of state revenues. Governor Mills talking earlier this afternoon at the Blaine House. Uh, the governor said she wants to get through the state of the state address later this month, and then it will uh, introduce her supplemental uh, state budget, which will detail how she wants to do all that, what she wants to do with that money. Uh, then the legislature, as Hannah reported, will have uh, a little over two months in order to make the decisions how to actually do it. And obviously, all of those will get become fodder for the campaign for governor, presumably Governor Mills against Paul LePage, which is just getting started. Pat and Amanda, back to you.